not doing your first. Here we go. Five minutes. Wake up. Hi, we have. I like this square light. We have Imran. Me two years back, and uh, Ikta had called me up, and it was uh, a brief conversation where she said that we are planning out um, a film based on the life of Muhammad Azizuddin, and I didn't think for a second. I said, I'm definitely doing it. I didn't uh, hear the story out because I followed him uh, for those 15, 16 years when uh, he was in uh, in our team, and uh, when he was playing, when he was a captain of the Indian cricket team. And then after that, the, the unfortunate dark phase uh, of Indian cricket and his life when his name was taken, uh, when there was the match-fixing allegation uh, drawn on his name. So that was the conversation. And you know, after that, we, we drafted the script. It took around uh, a year after that. And we went on floors. Uh, Azharbhai actually had not okayed the script back then. He okayed it on the first on the third draft. And then we finally went uh, on, on floor and he shot the film. Well, you know, if you're doing a fictional film, there is a hundred different ways you can play a character. But when you're playing a film based on someone's life, uh, who's you know alive, flesh and blood, people have followed him, you have to be very accurate and close to, as close to home as possible. But in a film of this nature, uh, it was very essential to uh, dramatize certain elements. There were the four or five songs. So uh, yes, it has elements of being a biopic, but at the same time, it dramatizes some moments for our audience to kind of, you know, to entertain them. Because as part of our culture, the songs have to be there. And, you know, uh, there are dialogues that people are going to love uh, in, in this film. So we've dramatized it, I would say, 10 to 20 percent. But most of it is things about cricket that uh, all of you don't know and uh, that have been shared by Azerbai with us. You know, they might have come out in the media, a lot of things, but not everything. So Azerbai has sh shared those very, very intimate details about the sport and his life for this film. He's a fantastic person. He's got extreme amount of patience and inner strength to deal with the stuff that he went through in his life at that point of time. After you know being removed from the the sport and the team in uh, year 2000, when he was at the top of his game, I think it takes a lot of courage and inner strength uh, and patience to deal with what he had to deal with. Yeah, come, 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 come. No, 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 no. Come. Kursi I, I thought you guys were gonna take like. Half an hour like before, so I said. Yeah. Have you been having coffee? Oh, slightly. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you feel that match fixing is something that is going on? Well, I can't speak uh, for a, a particular time in the sport, and at that time. Uh, you know, a lot of things were put forward. Ev eventually, it was the ju judicial system that had played out its, uh, you know, uh, the the verdict, and he was acquitted of it. But uh, sports around the world, you know, they have uh, hi, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> they have allegations that have been attached to it of match fixing, and that that is a fact. Now, I can't come down and telling you which players fix matches. I can't tell you which games have been fixed, because that you know, anyone's guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I said it. I said it. Yeah. It was the toughest in this film because uh, coming, like you know, even close to the way Azerbaijan used to play is extremely tough. You know, uh, the most accomplished batsman um, had score, was the highest score, run scorer at one point of time, and I was like an average to below average player. So not not too much technicality, which was obvious thanks to Azerbaijan. He taught me these things. I was more of an offside player. I had to play on the leg side because that's where Azharbhai was very strong. So it took me around three, four grilling months of training for cricket every day, three hours every day. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's, you know, that was the regime back then. Uh, I am unfortunately the only one who has not met anyone. So I didn't get compliments. As yet. As yet. As yet. Let's see. <laughs> to come soon. Come soon. Uh, everyone, you know, really enjoyed it. I liked it. I think they remixed it really well and it made it more dancey and modern. So. Um, I, I played Noreen in the film. Uh, Noreen was uh, Azhar's first wife. Uh, 
I think she was barely 16 when uh, they got married. It was an arranged marriage. Um, I think that's a side, uh, that's a part of Azhar's life that not many know about. Uh, they do know that she was his first wife, but nothing more than that. So in this film, I think you get to, um, you know, see that part, that part of his life. And I, I think the way it's been treated, um, and I, I just feel like everybody's going to be able to connect to it uh, because I, I did in a, in a big way. Um, and a lot many things actually about their relationship, about the nine years of their marriage, um, which, which of course, like I said, nobody knows much uh, about. I think that you get to see in the film. Am I afraid? Lafraid. Afraid of him? <laughs> yeah, you know, Always I usually, I, I, I usually don't sit this close to Imran. I'm a little scared. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid of Imran. Okay, no. Um, am I still afraid of him? <laughs> that's your that's your question. Um, He's been calling you interviews ever, since then. Okay, we're kidding. No, she yeah, wasn't we're kidding. This happens she after 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 too many interviews. This is what happens. Um, no, this this is my second film with Imran, and it, it was a great experience. Uh, I think the familiarity really um, helped both of us um, because yes, we play these real life characters. Um, I think it was extremely tough for Imran to play um, Azhar for a lot many reasons. I mean, I know how hard he worked on this film, um, and and Noreen for me. So, just the fact that we we have. We were familiar with, with each other. We shared a great rapport. All of that really made it um, much easier for both of us. And, and I had a great, uh, great experience working with him again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a trend that actually started off a couple of years back. Uh, I keep saying this, you know, the, the films here are in the traditional yeah. sense, not biopics, because, you know, if we, for example, with a film like Azhar, if you're adding songs, if you're taking a bit of cre creative liberty in this, although we have a lot of facts on our side and, you know, things that have been documented and we put them in the film, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, I would say, a semi-biopic in, in, in nature, uh, but it's a great trend because, you know, it also has a sense of realism in the film of uh, something that's, you know, relative to someone's past, like, for example, films like Airlift, and you know these are stories that have been lost in time. A film like Azhar is a film is about a person who we've you know very closely followed, and it's the first biopic of its nature of someone who everyone has followed. So it's it's very interesting to know how the audience kind of laps it up and how how you know the interest levels are to a film like this. I'll I'll call up and give a shout. Right. Uh, what attracted me? The man's life journey. It's uh, you know, it's it lends itself to some great uh, cinema. Um, you know, he's seen everything. This is struggling years when he before he became a cricketer, great success, and then a terrible fall in year 2000 when everything was snatched away from him. When he was just about to complete his hundred Test matches, uh, his career was taken away from him on 99. So he's you know he was short of that one. A test match, but uh, the way we see it, he kind of was vindicated and he wins the 100th test match in the court when he wins the court case. So it's a beautiful story. It's, it's kind of tragic also in many ways because Azharbhai also lost his son close to the, the, to the verdict of the case. Um, but he's a very strong person. He's, you know, has a lot of will and inner strength and that has got him through the entire phase. I don't know. It depends. You know, when I, if I get a film of, I, I don't have anyone in mind in that sense. Uh, not someone here though. I've, you know, I've always liked Lance Armstrong. I've, I know Lance Armstrong's film won't come to me, but I've enjoy, enjoyed reading his book. It's not about the bike. Uh, again, a controversial figure. I'd want to see as an audience member to see that life play out on screen, because he had seven world titles snatched away from him uh, because of the, you know, obviously everyone knows about that. So. That's a very controversial story. Yes. He's a private person. I'm very, I'm very smart. <laughs> He's smart. <laughs> Good guy. Actors should learn from that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 
We practiced for three months here. Uh, it was uh, in Andheri. We used to uh, practice and train every day uh, for three months last year, Jan. It was the, the weather was better, so we used to start off uh, at nine in the morning. And Azhar Bhai was always punctual at nine in the morning. We used to train to twelve. Those hours got shorter. By the time it was May, we used to sweat it out. We used to train only for an hour or two. But uh, it was great, uh, you know, playing with him. And that was the toughest for me because uh, I, my wrists didn't move on like a 40 degree axis and his was he was extremely you know flexible uh, it took me six months training to get the, the wrist uh, you know the flick right well the famous dialogue is main teen cheezon ke liye famous hu ek khuda ko manta hu do shaadi hui hai meri aur teen match fix karne ke ilzam hai mujh par No, no, no. We we match. We match, we match our outfits it. every day. <laughs> it's coincidence. It's coincidence. <laughs> I definitely yeah. didn't call Imran to say, "Hey, would you? What are you wearing today? You know, you think we could your do stylist, a matching outfit?" Your stylist did. Yeah. Yeah. Your stylist. No lie, Nagesh. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> Don't you lie now? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Are we going home? Now what? Our people. Who's doing other uh, tweeting? I know. Who's in charge? You're in charge? Yeah. Because you put an ugly picture of her. Oh, yeah. They just sing my song, man. I sang your song. Yeah. What song? So shiny. Yeah, you don't want a shiny picture, right? Oh, okay. What song? No. I sang the song. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my song. मैम हो गया आपका पीछे